news out of Provo today is that sophomore quarterback Jake Heaps is leaving school. Once rated as the nation's number one high school quarterback, Heap started most of last season and broke nearly every freshman passing record at BYU. He was also the MVP of the New Mexico Bowl. However, a slow start this year led to his benching for Riley Nelson, and Nelson's played so well he's not given up the job. The transfer is effective immediately, meaning Heaps won't play in the Armed Forces Bowl on December 30th. He won't even practice. In his only interview, Jake told the Seattle Times, quote, I've had some time to think about this decision. It's not one I came to lightly. I have no idea where I'm going to end up and haven't talked to anyone. There are a lot of great programs out there, and I'm excited to do some research and find the right fit. Head coach Bronco Mendenhall said, quote, Jake has decided to leave the program in pursuit of a fresh start for he and his young family. Jake is a great young man with tremendous potential and someone I deeply care about. I'm sorry to see him leave this wonderful institution, yet anxious to follow his future development and success. That from head coach Bronco Mendenhall. BYU TV football analyst Blaine Fowler is here in studio with us tonight. Is this a good decision for Jake Heaps? It's hard to say, and we won't know the answer to that question until a couple of years from now because he's going to have to sit out a year per NCAA transfer rules. Um, and wherever he ends up, you know, he's going to get a kid with a lot of skills, uh, a great skill set for a quarterback. He throws the football all over the field. He's got great mechanics. He's got great footwork. Um, he showed that he could be a good college quarterback when he was a freshman at BYU. Whether or not he was going to be great, we don't know. Right. We haven't seen enough of him as a veteran quarterback to know that. And so the one thing he's given up, Dave, that is interesting to me, he's giving up the known for the unknown. Yeah. Um, he knows this offense. He knows the talent that is going to be around him for the next couple of years. Uh, in my opinion, he could redshirt next season, you know, and let Riley Nelson play out his senior season and come back and be the starter for a couple of years. And that's a pretty sure bet. Not not for absolute sure, but a pretty good bet. He goes someplace else. New offense, new coaches, new players to deal with. Um, so he's giving up a, a lot of things that are known you know, as we look at his career stats for a complete new start. And I can't get inside the mind and heart of Jake Heaps. What he may be saying to himself is, I don't know if I can win back the hearts and minds of my teammates. Right. And if that's the case, then maybe a transfer is a good thing for him. Um, we'll, we'll have to watch over the next couple of seasons. The reaction for the football team, we'll hear from a couple of guys in a moment, but uh, the way they responded to Riley Nelson tells me the reaction is, hey, this, this, the caravan's moving on. Well, and I think that this team believes wholeheartedly in Riley Nelson as their guy. Right. I mean, he is the leader of this football team, and so next season, I don't think there's any question that if Riley is healthy, he's the guy. Do you regret not taking a redshirt year uh, when you were here at BYU, you fought with Robbie Bosco for two years for the starting job and never got it from Robbie. You got a chance to win a national championship as the backup where you played key roles. But can you see Jake's thing of, hey, you know what? Life's too short. I can't be a backup. You chose to be a backup, so to speak. Would you do it over again? And I would do the exact same thing that I did. Um, and there was an opportunity for me to transfer to Arizona State when it became apparent that I wasn't going to be the guy. In my mind, I felt like, you know, I want to stay here and continue to compete. And I also felt there was enough about BYU that if I never played football again, this is where I wanted to be. And now, as a 48-year-old man looking back, it was a great decision for me. You know, I met my wife here. I had great experiences here. I'm still very connected to this university, and I wouldn't give that up for anything. Uh, for Jake, you know, as yeah. a 19-year-old, this is a tough decision, and he may look back and regret it. He may look back and think it was a great thing. It's hard to predict. Well, I'm glad you did what you did because you, as a Sun Devil, you wouldn't be on BYU TV tonight. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I still would have been, but you and I have had a great relationship over a lot of years because I stayed here. That's right.